Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. Palm Beach State College in Boca Raton. You probably haven't been there since you were a kid, maybe, going to school, but they have adult programs, and they're good adult programs. And the reason I asked Merman Curry, who is the Corporate and Continuing Education Program Director here, because he's the gentleman that really helped us get the CURE Symposium set for uh, a second uh, a second set. We did this last, let's see, we did it in April, in and April. now we're going to do this in October, October the 24th, uh, from 9 to 3. And the campus is really a very nice place to be. So welcome to our show, Mervyn. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's a pleasure. And, of course, you've been working at the campus for a long time, and do you just like students? What makes you love your job so much? You know, it's it's empowering to be a part of a um, person's educational path. And so whether it's a student in our youth program or it's a student seeking um, extended certifications for their professional life, it's just a joy to be a, a part of the process. So. so you liked school when you went to school when you Actually, were much younger? Actually, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Such good honesty. I, I'm brutally honest, but I really didn't. And it was, it was a passion. It, it was a calling. I worked in the real world, I used to, I call it, uh, for some years. And then I got back into coaching, and, and education has been there for 15, 20 years now. So education is pretty much coaching, isn't it? Yes. When you think about it. Yes, very that much you were so. saying. And I notice the students when I go there, the young students, oh. and, and I go to visit you and and some of them seem lost in a sense. I don't mean really lost, but mm -hmm. and and you and your staff are so kind to them to help them to figure out what they need and that helping hand is so important, Mervin. It, it's really important for us on the customer service side to be as accessible as possible to the students to hopefully uh, guide them through the right path. We're not always perfect. Uh, we don't always give the right advice, but we do, we definitely put a sincere effort into ensuring that we get the students to where they want to be and what they want to accomplish. So, You know, when I asked Mervyn to come on the radio show, uh, I really had the idea. I wanted everybody to be able to write down on their calendar October the 24th on a Saturday to to be able to hear 14 distinguished doctors and scientists at the CURE symposium and that's what we're going to do but i also told him i wanted to talk a little bit about the programs that are there mervyn when people come to your continuing ed and let's because you you have older students coming Correct. because don't you offer um other kinds of i don't know if it's for them to work with computers or what mm -hmm. are some of the courses that people who are listening now could come there and take if they're a, an adult? Well, we have a, right, a wide range of uh, course offerings. And one I like to say, we have a few that are district-wide. And what I mean by district-wide, meaning that they are controlled by a central campus, by um, the Lake Worth campus. And that would be anything in the health services, anything in public safety, uh, teacher's ed, and early education. And then each specific campus has a program director that, heads up its workforce education and continuing education, uh, like I do on my campus. And those particular campuses, if can I name a few of them? Oh, please. Yes, okay. that's what I want people to understand this, <laughs> so then maybe they'll make that call, because they're probably afraid. I'll mm -hmm. bet there are a lot of people sitting at home, and they want to do something, but they said, I can't go back to school. Who wants me to go, right? Oh, yes, yes. I mean, it's intent, continuing education has a wide range, from that lifelong learner, that... Uh, boomers uh, generation who still wants to engage their mind and keep themselves active and, and continue learning all the way to the youth with our summer youth college program. But I just want to mention or at least say the program directors on the other campus so that uh, uh, on our Bell Glades campus, it's Gloria McAllister and her phone number is 561-993-1175. On the Lake Worth campus, it's, her name is Sandy Barrett and her phone number is 561 868-3702. And right now on the Palm Beach Gardens campus, uh, the lady to contact is Lisa Ficke. And her la her phone number is 561-207-5700. Uh, 
And, of course, on the Boca Raton campus, it would be myself, Mervyn Curry, and my phone number is 561-862-4709. And if you did write those numbers down, which most people don't get to do, you can call one of the one of the campuses and mm-hmm. ask if you want to go to a different location because, you know, this show goes from Jupiter all the way down past even further uh, south than Boca Raton. So it's such a big responsibility that you actually have to have four program directors at yes. each campus. Yes, each campus serves, each director serves its own service area, and so we're attentive to the needs of our particular service area. So, for example, Palm Beach, uh, the Boca Raton campus, services from the Boca area up into Boynton Beach, and Lake Worth would do from Boynton Beach up to uh, Gardens, Palm Beach Gardens, and Palm Beach Gardens has the rest of that area, and Bell Glade services out in the west of the county. And that's very good that you say that there is a campus out in Bell Glade. Mm-hmm. It's so important because yes. so many people who live out there are really quite distant from us here. Yes, and, it, and it's a disconnect that they don't believe that we're there. And so know public that the uh, Bell Glade campus is thriving and actively helping your community. Yeah, well, um, the provost, Bernadette Russell, has certainly been very instrumental in wanting to make sure that everybody is served. Yes, ma'am. And, and I certainly do appreciate the work that she does. In fact, we started the Boomer Longevity Program, of which the Cure Symposium is our very first um, event. And we certainly hope people will write that down. Remember, it's Pencil Talk Radio. you got to write down Saturday, October the 24th from 9 to 3, and you will be hearing incredible scientists and doctors. And I have to tell you, Mervyn, since we put the ad in, we've had a lot of people calling us already for RSVP. It is a wonderful event. It was an amazing event last year. We had well over 150 attendees, uh, due to your credit, of course. Um, but the, the doctors, the experience of the doctors and their uh, enthusiasm for their pre- presentations was really, really heartfelt to the individuals who attended. So You know, Mervyn, it's kind of like you in the sense that you sit in your office and and I know you do get around, but a lot of doctors who are very smart sit in their office and people don't know them, they don't know what they do. And this was the whole idea to get them out, to get people to know simple things about if you, this happens to you, what, what opportunities are available? It's really the same in a sense is that we're doing it in the medical side. But when, when I saw, when I first met you and I saw your children's program, oh. I mean, I could not believe, I mean, I mean how many different uh, programs were there in, in the summer? I mean, it's huge amounts. I don't know whether 20, 30? Yes, no. A we lot have more? over 160. Yeah, that's what I thought the... you would say. <laughs> The Boca Raton campus is special when it comes to summer offerings for students. It's called our Summer Youth College Program, and it's been in existence now for 17 years. I've been a part of it for 10, but it's been around for quite a long time. It's been a hidden program, so to say, because it's practically told by word of mouth. But we start to advertise a lot more on it, but we have over 160 class offerings from students uh, 8 to 14, and it covers a wide range from... STEM-related programs to hobby programs to uh, robotics, entrepreneurship, uh, website building, uh, uh, apps. We build mobile apps. We have electronic skateboards. We have a ton of amazing classes that students can take in the summer. So a kid, eight years old, eight years can old. come. So, you know, the parents should be excited because summers are hard for parents. Mm-hmm. So they would go to one, and how many? How long does a class Well, each class... Go? Uh, We set it up in a college format, so the students are able to choose uh, from a range of 14 different classes on each class session. We have three sessions a day, 9 to 11, 12 to 2, and 2 to 4. So the student, the teacher, a parent can be a la carte. Maybe the student only wants to attend up till 12 or up till 2 during the day, or they can come the whole day. But they have a choice of about 45 classes within the three blocks to choose from. So, Absolutely awesome. wonderful. And mm-hmm. you have instructors for each one of these. Yes, we have a very, very large staff. It's amazing. It we, is. we serviced about 350 students. Uh, we had about 75 volunteers, 25 paid assistants, and about 52 teachers. You, we have to love kids to yes. do this. because, But they're excited. They don't belong at home in the summer. They really belong learning 
And you know, you may not know this, or maybe you do know because you've been doing this so mm-hmm. long. Just by one of those classes, it could change one of the kids' lives, and they become now that becomes their profession in the future. Have you we seen that? We have inspired individuals to do that, and they've come back and given testimony that because I took a class, uh, because I took an architecture class, now I'm more focused on being an architect. Because I took the robotics class here a few years ago, that has become my passion. And now that I'm uh, achieving or working towards trying to become a robotics engineer. So, yes, it has very, very... The intention is to acclimate the student as young as possible in the college atmosphere to let them know that it is possible and that their dreams can be attained through education. So we work really hard to try and make sure that we have the highest quality instructors as well as a well um, multi-learning environment for for students to learn. Well-oiled, I'll call it. (laughs) (laughs) And I want everyone to know where Palm Beach State College in Boca Raton is. Now, there are other Palm Beach State colleges, but we're focusing in now on the Boca Raton College campus. And it's really on the FAU campus, Mm -hmm. so it's right off Glades Road. So Glades Road between Federal Highway and I-95, and 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 you'll see it. It now has a football stadium. Oh, yes, FAU does have the football stadium. Uh, But that's part of FAU. I know, but uh, I think having your campus, I think having it on the FAU campus is perfect. It's it's an amazing idea, and the state of Florida was brilliant in doing such things because it makes it easier for the students to transfer into a four-year institution. Yeah, because I've been here a long time in South Florida in this area in Boca Raton, and I don't know where it was before. All I knew is there was one campus that was Lake Worth, I think, at one time. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. And then they, they went either up to Palm Beach Gardens, next, Gardens or, next, and then and then, and then they think they went down to Boca, yes, right. and then having Bill Glade. So they've made great strides. I guess yes. they and saw... And we have a new one coming up in Lock, Loxahatchee, if I'm Do saying you, that correct. Do you? Loxahatchee. Yes, if I'm saying that correct. Yeah, yes. you are. They are building one there, and that should open in September of 2017. So it will be a building, and it will be a whole campus. It will be, be buildings several and a campus. buildings, yes. It will be a several buildings, yes. That's good because our, uh, the location of Palm Beach County is strange. You know, it's so long, and then it, and it doesn't really have, um, yeah, it, it's, it, each one is its own community in a sense. Yes, so it it's is. very nice to be able to do that and have, uh, have the funds to be able to open up a college. Um, let's get back to uh, the Cure Symposium. Yes, I don't want to forget that. You know, well, I, I do highlight. want. I'm, I, that's right. Well, I want to highlight it too. Um, the one thing that I noticed is that a lot of people don't really understand um, what it's like to sit and listen to doctors because most of the time they go to their doctor's office mm-hmm. and they ask the doctor a question. They don't even probably ask them right when they make it five minutes and it's over. Yeah. But as you know, when you came. The doctors got, you know, like 10, 12 minutes to mm-hmm. talk. and they, it was they, closer to 15. Was it? Yeah. I think and it was. they really cover subjects. I mean, you remember when the dermatologist was there yes. and she actually did, she Botoxed <laughs> my, my face, <laughs> which was good. It's now coming back. <laughs> but, but we all learned a lot about that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, of course, we had uh, Dr. Mann, who's a plastic surgeon, and he shows all the, the what you can look like and yes. what... You don't have to look like. Wonderful I mean, presentation. it's a lot. Yeah. Exactly. And then the latest thing, of course, is stem cell. People who um, have very serious diseases. Mm-hmm. And now this is a very big um, up and coming way to get rid of pain. And and it's, it's a marvelous thing. The orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Perita, um, at the very beginning, he was kind of a pioneer, and people were thinking maybe he's doing some things that aren't right. Okay. But now they know that what he's doing is being, is being done everywhere, and he's, he was amazing to be able to come as he did. He was in great demand. And really, uh, people who have experienced pain can now have it reduced, but a lot of people don't know about these things. And so that's our goal, Mervyn, at yes. the Cure Symposium, to open up the doors in a sense to say, this is what it's going to be. The other person who is going to come, and I went down to the University of Miami to find her, she is uh, the director of the University of Miami Brain Research, Brain Tissue Research. And it's a huge building, and um, I definitely have dedicated my body to, um, to research. And uh, what she told us, and you'll be hearing her, 
about what the brain and the tissue and how important it is. And you see, most people don't even know about this, and that's what we try to do. That's why we have the Cure Symposium. We are happy to partner with you. It is a, our, Dr. Russell and my pleasure to have this event held on our campus. Um, I am glad that we are the only campus that is sponsoring your event. Um, and and it, it just it has a lot of value to the individuals who come. And so I encourage your listeners, if you're out there, that this is one event that you do not want to miss. And again, that is on Saturday, October the 24th uh, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And it's on the Boca Raton campus of Palm Beach State College uh, in our Humanities and Technology Building. Right, right. Yeah, that Humanities and Technology (laughs) Building. That's what we have to tell everybody. And what I've told people, look, just go look for the stadium because that's the biggest (laughs) thing there. And then it's all the way to the east. (laughs) Because I, otherwise, because it's hard for people, you know, all college campuses are difficult. If, you, mm-hmm. if you're a student, you know where things are. But if you're an outsider, it's very hard to figure out where things are. difficult to navigate to get to us sometimes. But if you keep in mind that we're on the southeast end of the FAU campus, it kind of help you in terms of where you are uh, when you get on the campus. Right. And what we want you to do is to RSVP because there are only a certain amount of seats available and we don't want to, you know, have to turn you away. So... Please do, and the phone number, just get your pencils out. This is Pencil Talk Radio. Mm-hmm. It's eight. It's 561-864-1101. Again, that's 561-864-1101. Or you can email me at srlife at gate.net, srlife at gate.net. Okay, Mervyn, so let's get into medical a little bit about some of the, you said, that people can come to your campus, and what do you specialize in What in the CCE programs compared to the others? Well, we all offer generally the same uh, programming, but each campus caters to the needs of its community. So ours, we've seen an increase in um, ESOL languages, uh, foreign language classes, or English as a second language uh, courses, the computer uh, certification such as CIW, um, uh, there's internet business development. There's uh, architectural courses such as AutoCAD that's been very successful. Uh, we've had a growing um, enrollment in our lifelong learning. Um, uh, meditation, uh, Tai Chi. Uh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that you had those. Yes, we we have. You have to look us up. And, oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't realize open. that. Okay, so this. <laughs> Does this happen just at night, during the day? All times of the day, so mornings, midday, and evenings, and on the weekends. A lot of our classes do work on the evenings. And, and we're looking at, for these courses, are they usually two hours? Correct. Mm, two and a half to three hours. Some, some of them can be three hours, but most of them are two hours. And now, if someone doesn't, if someone's out there and they don't really want to get any credits for this because they're not a real student, well, how do they do that? Our cred- you would apply as a non-credit seeking student. And that's what our courses offer. Uh, they're non-credits except for our certification classes, which leads to an industry-recognized certification, such as PM, uh, project management. Uh, uh, you have project management. You have, ooh, I have a political. I mean, if you, in other words, the people who want to get credit, you, you would then, it costs probably more money too, doesn't it, if they yes, want credits? Yes, we'd have to lead them to the four-credit side. We're, we're two separate sides of the college. One is non-credit and one is credit-seeking. Would I be going in classes where people are getting credit? Not necessarily or not? Is it taught differently? No. We have the same accreditation for our teachers. Our teachers are credentialed in their fields, and um, it's taught generally like a normal college class. But but if I'm auditing or whatever you call that, oh, yes. I'm doing it, would I still be in a regular class? To audit, yes, you would be in a regular credit class. Uh, you can't audit non-credit classes. Non-credit classes, you... Right. You just, to let's say I want to do, there are probably people out there that say, well, I already have a degree. I don't mm-hmm. need to do that. But I want to have the class. Mm-hmm. So they would then go to a regular class. Well, either we can service them on the continuing education side, because generally a lot of our programs mirror what the college uh, for credit side has. So we can service them or they can audit a uh, credit class. Yes. So if somebody has these kinds of questions and they don't know what they want to do, do you have counselors? How do you do that? We have advisors, okay, and or you can call my office directly, and it's Pencil Radio, so i got to plug that in again. Uh, okay. That's uh, 
four seven zero nine or my email is curry c u r r y m is in mary a is an apple at palmbeachstate.edu and so they could come to us and we would advise them either myself or my team of advisors would advise what direction what they're looking to accomplish while they're here and then we'll take it from there but yes we have personalized people who can sit down and talk to you the boca Raton campus is um takes a lot of pride in its customer service and the approach that we deal with the campuses. I'm not saying that all other campuses don't, but I know that is a real um, strength to our particular campus that our advisors, our financial aid people, our registration people are very customer service oriented and very engaged in making sure students are led in the right direction. Okay, so let's separate this. So let's say someone has just graduated from high school Mm -hmm. and they want to go to Palm Beach State College in Boca Raton Mm -hmm. and they want to take a real, uh, they want to take an educational program that then they can go. Actually, you have a four-year Four year diploma now. Yes, That's, we have, so tell us how that works and what kind of courses they would be taking. Well, generally, most of our courses lead to an AA or an AS degree. We do have four um, bachelor's programs that's nursing, uh, business management, entrepreneurship. Uh, and I forget the third one right off the top of my head. No, you said, well, but bachelor, but you have, uh, uh, you actually have nursing. Someone yes. becomes a nurse by going there. Yes. With, with no program. knowledge at all, and what is it, four years, and it then they a become a nurse? four-year program, yes, yes. I think that's, you know, nowadays, I don't have to tell you, mm-hmm. uh, Mervyn, how important it would be to become a nurse, even if you never use it. Nine times out of ten, you will, at some point of your life. Uh, so it's, it's a valued, um, it's a well-sought occupational field. There's a high shortage in the state and across the nation of nurses. So you will see a trend for students to start more or colleges to start producing more nurses i i would think that's true yes uh so is this like an rn a full Mm -hmm. rn yes ma'am so if you only wanted to be an lpn you didn't need to do the whole thing you have like something that ends we have programs that end at an lpn as well yes Mm -hmm. i'm really Cena. i've learned so much having you come here (laughs) i i thought that was the one that goes up into lake worth but they a have it of, too, but... Yes, a lot of the bachelor programs are um, housed on the Lake Worth campus. Yes, ma'am. But here but in Boca Raton, take some we of could the do courses. This. Yes, you can take some of the courses related to that um, on the Boca Raton campus, but the majority of them will end up on the Lake Worth campus. And um, how much does a course usually typically cost? At the current moment, I, the, the rate would be about $360 for a three credit class. For a three credit class, yeah. boy, that's so much more reasonable, isn't it, than are, going to a regular We college. are the most affordable institution in the state. It, it is very wise for your listeners to come to us and get their associates or AS degrees and then move on to a four-year college. The cost analysis and such a thing would provide a huge savings for a great deal of people. And we have our ratio from doctors to masters has increased so we have a lot more doctors instructing our classes than we do just uh professors with masters oh that's a very Uh. interesting point because Mm -hmm. um i know that at most universities fau that you have to have a phd i think to to be able to teach in most classes they do have uh individuals who have just their masters. certain kinds i think of courses Mm -hmm. but but for you you've had now you've been having people with um, masters, uh, masters teaching, but now you're running. You are finding PhDs we to do this. We are finding a lot more PhDs who are joining our staff, it's particularly on the uh, Boca campus. It has, it's almost, I, I can't say right off the top of my head, but, but you're I, noticing it, an it, increase it, in there. Increase is very noticeable each year that we start to increase with more doctors. And so you have, uh, and I think you have a new president. Yes, we do, President what? Ava L. Parker. Yes. And um, w- there was a gentleman who was in that place for many years. I mean, and so now all of a sudden he's retired. Dr. Uh, Dennis Gallen, yes, was our president for the last 17 years. And all of a sudden now you have uh, a, a woman the first who is a uh, first female who's taken this on. Of course, that makes me very happy. Yes. I'm certainly hoping that um, people are... I know there's going to be a, a personal, uh, um, I guess, a public 
uh, invitation yes, to for everyone to meet her. Mm-hmm. But so she'll be in charge of the four campuses. Yes, ma'am. And and how how do the four campuses work together? I mean, do they have meetings? Is it? I guess she, it's it's her position to know what each campus uh, has. And you tried to do each campus has a little something different. Each campus has their own little niche, or to sort of say, or speciality that they have a concentration on. But we still try to view ourselves as one entity, as one college. But it does, each uh, campus location puts us in a situation where we have to service the needs of that particular um, community, and it's not always the same in each area. And, of course, I don't want to... uh make you drool but when you think about it some of the candidates the political candidates are talking about yes. everybody should be able to go to the community college for free for free yes and that's i happen to agree with that and of course i don't know what's going to happen but uh i i guess when you think of it if people were more educated and mm-hmm. that some of them just can't afford it and we know that no matter how inexpensive it is um it, it would be a wonderful thing so if someone wants, they go in, when they're in high school, they should really be making um, plans to go to college. Now, if they can't, they, they don't want to. should be thinking about that in the fourth grade. They should be thinking about that in <laughs> the fourth really grade. They really should be thinking about it in the fourth grade. That, that will start the process and make sure that it's complete. If you start to think about it in, the co- in high school, you're a little late in the game. You should be thinking about college in the fourth grade. <laughs> ha! Did you? <laughs> yes, I did. Now, look at that. In the yes, fourth I grade, I yeah. never started thinking my about mom, college in the fourth grade. My mother uh, made it a point that we used to have to pick and choose a, a college campus that we would want to go to each year. So I particularly stayed with Rutgers because I'm from New Jersey. But uh, but I used to always say Rutgers, Rutgers, Rutgers. But wow, that is impressive. I did yeah. not know. I just learned that. I mean, I... I don't know what my uh, triplet grandchildren are thinking. I have to talk to them. Well, Mervin, I want to just tell you, this was so wonderful having you here. Of course, oh. I've had so many meetings with you, but had you on the radio and let other people have the joy of hearing you. Oh. You have such a positive voice, and you, you only want good for people, and that's what I like so that's much it. about you. That's it. I appreciate coming. Thank you for having yeah. me. Yeah, thank you for being here, Mervin. It's always a pleasure.